Oh, 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 and now Susie says this is not a dinosaur and it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the importer. This dinosaur looks sick. I agree, Doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. Is oh, this dinosaur oh, oh, looks a very purple colour? Yes, Doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet! In the hospital! The bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is a railway station. No, no, no! no. Oh, now the bedroom is Fairyland. Only pretty things are allowed in Fairyland. What's all this crying about? George and Richard want to play dinosaurs and trains. And we want to play hospitals and fairies. Hmm, I see the rain has stopped outside. So? Maybe you could all play outside. But they like little boys' games. And we like grown-up girls' games. But after it's been raining in the garden, what do you normally find? Muddy puddles! And what are muddy puddles for? Jumping up and down in! Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are big girls or little boys. Granny Pig has found some straw and an old sack. I'll put the straw in the sack to make the head. Now the scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. George has found a dress. <laughs> Silly George. Mr. Scarecrow doesn't have a dress. Pepper has found a coat. Very good. George has found a hat. Very good, George. Mr. Scarecrow needs a face. That's right. Would you and George like to paint the face? Yes, please. <laughs> George paints the eyes and nose. Pepper paints the mouth. Fantastic! Mr. Scarecrow is ready. The little birds are looking for Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Look, the little birds are back. Don't worry, Pepper. Mr. Scarecrow will scare them off. It worked. Mr. Scarecrow has scared the little birds away. Good. Now my flower seeds will not be eaten. Oh, Grandpa, the birds look very sad. Yes, they must be hungry. That's why I brought this. What's that, Granny? It's a bird feeder. Grandpa, may I have some seeds, please? Come on, birdies, lunch time. Now the birdies have their own seeds. Hooray! The little birds are so happy again. Peppa is glad that Grandpa Pig's seeds will not be eaten, but she is even more glad that the little birds will not be hungry. <laughs> Everyone has come dressed as pirates. Pedro Pony is dressed as a cowboy. Yeehaw! Ahoy there, me hearties! It is Grandad Dog dressed as a pirate. Hello, Grandad Dog. Call me Dogbeard. Hello, Dogbeard. Which of ye scurvy pirates crave a ration of swashbuckling or the brainy seas? Why is he talking funny? <laughs> That's pirate talk. 
If you want to play my pirate game, say R. Is this a dangerous game? No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swallowed by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog took my treasure. Oh. Know you, the Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hog's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Holly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs. Wheel away! What does that mean? Run to the boat! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Oh! Oh! And, and my computer has switched off. Ma Mommy Pig, Pig tries the light switch, switch, but the light does not come on. It's your mind a power cut. A power cut is when there is no electricity. What's electricity? Electricity is what makes everything in our house work. But electricity will come soon? Yes. But in the Mais meantime, en we need to find a torch. I think there's a torch in the, the cellar. cellar. Okay, I'll go and get it. Will we we be okay, okay, Daddy? Oh, oh, oh. I'll be Ça fine. I can see very well in the cellar. Who put that there? Oh. Daddy, are you okay? okay? Yeah. No, it's just, just a bit dark down here. Oh, 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 <laughs> Maman Pig, Pig has found the torch. Je peux tenir la lampe, Maman? Mais bien okay. sûr. <laughs> George, regarde-moi. Peppa is Pink making a bold face. Why, George? 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 It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Um. Uh... Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> Does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard, but the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are, on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. 
Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity! Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? With big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr. Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> Pedro Pony is going to play the hunter. He will rescue Pepper from the big bad wolf. Um, I'm the sister. And Pedro is a bit shy. Can you say, I'm going to chase you away, you big bad wolf? Um, va-t'en d'ici, grand méchant loup, va-t'en. C'est pas très bien, Pedro. Rebecca Rabbit is going to be the grandma. What do I say, mommy? Let's say. At the start of the play, you get locked in a cupboard by the big bad wolf. Then right at the end of the play, you're rescued by the hunter. And you say, thank you. Thank you. Very good, Rebecca. Everyone has come to see the school play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our play, The Little Red Riding Hood. First, let us meet the actors. Please, please, for the sake of the actors, no photography, please. And now, our play begins. Grandma is at home. But who is this visitor? Je suis le big bad wolf. Sit down, Danny! Oh la la, Danny has forgotten what he says next. Grandma, you must go in the cupboard. Go in the cupboard. La grand méchante fait semblant d'être la grand-mère. Bonjour, je suis le petit chaperon. Je vais visiter ma grand-mère. Bravo, Peppa. Daddy, you must not take photos. Oh, c'est vrai. Sorry, Peppa. Carry on. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig. You woke the little ones. We promised to sleep. When the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up, and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. That bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary chicken! Emma, <laughs> Woj, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK, there's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brain knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party! And all our friends came. <laughs> Once upon a time, une petite princesse qui vivait dans un grand princess. château. Elle était surnommée la princesse fatiguée. Princess. 
Pourquoi la date Je te l'expliquerai plus tard. Est-ce qu'elle était jolie, cette princesse Oui, elle était très jolie. Elle passait son temps à se regarder dans la glace. Oh, elle est la plus jolie <rire> Qui d'autre habitait dans ce château Ah, eh bien, dans le château, il y avait aussi le petit prince. La reine maman et le roi papa. C'est exact. Eux aussi, ils habitaient là. Est-ce que le roi papa a grandi Bien sûr que non. Il était très beau, comme moi. Peu importe, il y avait aussi un gros dragon. Un dinosaure. Oh, oh oui, c'est vrai, ce n'était pas un dragon, c'était un dinosaure. Un énorme dinosaure très puissant qui vivait tout à côté du château. Le dinosaure n'est peut-être pas aussi féroce que tu le dis, Paddy Pig. Pardon, George. Non, il n'était pas méchant, bien au contraire. Il mangeait principalement de l'herbe. Paddy Pig. Oh, sorry. J'imitais seulement le dinosaure. Papa, pourquoi la princesse fatiguée s'appelait comme ça Je vais y venir. Bientôt, le soleil se coucha. Les étoiles et la lune firent leur apparition et tout le monde se sentit fatigué. Mais la princesse fatiguée était la plus fatiguée de tous. Hello, Mummy Pig. Bonjour. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Combien How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Dinosaur. <laughs> and a dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa Pig wants to see the room full of things that belonged to kings and queens from long ago. Wow. Dinosaur. George, but George, George wants to see the real dinosaur. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We will see the dinosaur next. Peppa, these are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. This is the Queen's dress. Look, Peppa, this is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things. Mummy, where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? But they did have computers. No, they didn't have computers either. What did they do all day? <laughs> Mummy, if I was the Queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. Peppa imagines being a Queen. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Pepper? Yes, more cakes. Of course. <laughs> Bonjour, Suzy. Mais... Bonjour, Monsieur Pig. Je suis content que l'infirmière soit là. Est-ce que tu arrives de l'hôpital Euh, je suis pas une infirmière. Je fais ce mot ce mot. <rire> C'est très réussi. Ça, alors. Regardez qui est là. Je suis un pirate. Paré à l'abordage. Je suis la sorcière. Je transforme les gens en grenouilles. Hey. Moi, je suis un clown. <rire> Ça, c'est drôle. En quoi es-tu déguisé, Rebecca C'est formidable. Entrez. Il y a une princesse magique et un dinosaure qui n'attendent que vous. Bonjour, les amis. Bonjour, Peppa. Bonjour, Suzy. Je suis la princesse Peppa. Tu dois t'incliner devant moi pour me parler. Bonjour, Votre Majesté. Mais je suis une infirmière. Maintenant, ouvre la bouche et dis « Ah !» Mais 
Je suis un clown. Fais quelque chose de drôle. Rebecca, pourquoi tu te déguises en carotte Parce que j'aime les carottes. Dinosaure. J'ai eu peur de ce gros dinosaure. Peppa s'admire devant la glace. Miroir, miroir, sois sincère. Qui est la plus belle princesse sur Terre C'est toi, princesse Peppa. Bonjour, Peppa. Bonjour, je suis déguisée en princesse. Je suis une sorcière. Je possède une baguette magique. Mais moi aussi, j'ai une baguette magique. Moi, je peux te transformer en grenouille. Moi aussi, je peux te transformer en grenouille. George, George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George, George wants the spider to be his friend. Oh. <laughs> George, George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. Peppa, Peppa loves jouer à tea parties. <laughs> We're all the chocolate biscuits, Daddy. We are lots yesterday. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, bah, Mummy. Bah, bah, I must have eaten them all. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Naughty Daddy. George, George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. George, George what are you doing? You have to help me with the tea party. <laughs> Oh, 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 He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! Hello, Mr. Skinny Legs. Peppa feels a little bit braver. Hello, Legs being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr. Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? Trouver la boîte de maquillage de sa maman. Tiens, tiens. D'abord de la poudre. Oui, j'adore. Maintenant du rouge à lèvres. Je suis une très jolie maman Pig. On y va, Papa Pig. C'est l'heure de partir au travail. Maman Pig, Pig travaille sur son ordinateur. Hello, <rire> Papa. Hello, George. Qu'est-ce que vous avez dit, Madame Je simplement me dis quoi. Mais je ne oh, m'appelle pas Peppa. Je m'appelle Maman Pig. Oh, oh yes, bien of sûr. Course. Pardon, Hello, Maman Pig. Pig. Hello. Je vous en prie. Je vous présente Papa Pig. George. Oh, And hello to you too, Daddy Pig. <rire> Je vous prie de m'excuser, j'ai un coup de fil à passer de toute urgence. Allô Oui yes. De ci, de ça. That. No. Non. Non. Merci Goodbye. beaucoup. Peppa <rire> s'amuse rien en imitant Maman Pig. Mais George, George commence à s'ennuyer. Excuse-moi, Papa Pig, j'ai bien de terminé. Ça y est, j'ai terminé. Come on, Daddy Pig, it's time to do it soon. Goodbye, Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. Hmm. This pirate has very bad handwriting. 
The pirate's handwriting is excellent. No, I can't make it out at all. The pirate is clearly written. Follow the arrows. George, George has found the second blue. The sticks in the shape of an arrow. Look, they're this way. Pepper and George are following the arrows. We got George a key. Pepper has found the next clue. A key. Well done, Pepper. Now you just have to find the treasure chest that it unlocks. But there aren't any more clues. Maybe you should take another look at the map. Look, Papa, the map has two apple trees on it. Here's an apple tree. And here's an apple tree. So the treasure must be here. Let's take a look. Oh, dear. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Hang on, there is something here. Wow, treasure! <laughs> well done. <laughs> I've got the key to open it. Oh. Wow, I can't it's believe it. Gold it's coins! They must be worth a fortune. It's better than that. They're not gold coins. They are chocolate coins. And there's a chocolate coin for everybody. Pepper and George have chocolate coins and chocolate. Everyone loves chocolate coins. Grabby, Grandpa, this is the best treasure hunt ever. Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Meow. What's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box, and Mr. Dinosaur. That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box, and Mr. Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr. Dinosaur is there. Little fish. Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous to Teddy. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Pepper and George's bedroom. Oh, the crumbs have stopped. How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's room? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! Thank <laughs> you.